So yeah, like I say, the AI know where the star is every time. No hesitation. And the bad thing about this is I'm actually going to be leading it off. And I have no idea where I'm going. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the vampire candy so I can actually save some time at least. Because he will be attacking all three of them at the same time. Ten coins once again. Hey! Fast animation! 27 coins for me. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Oh, my word. How did I know that something like that was going to happen? Alright, Wario, well, we show us the way. It's going to buy another twice candy. I don't question it. Right, it was a straight path to start off. Oh, straight away. Lucky space right there. So, I believe that was, yet again, exactly seven spaces. Maybe six, actually. I don't know. Oh, great. Bottom's away, and I'm the one. Great. <laughs> Didn't work well for me that's last time, because I was hesitant. Frick. I should have kept running to the left. Yeah, I never win that minigame as the one. Truth be told. If I can actually win this board in some way, that would be a miracle. Because, like I say, I hate this board so much, I've actually never won it. Never ever won it. Because it's based on movement and pure luck. Wow, I'm a bow. Use the spiel, can need to jump forward one space. Oh, that was actually the sound of the piano. Okay, let's see. Um, was it actually seven? So my space would have counted as one. Let's see, two, three. Yeah, it was six. Oh, great. Hammerbow's got another happening space. Okay, is coins and is Wario. Right. Oh! It stole 12 coins. Okay, hang on. 12. Oh, I see. Okay. So that coin thing goes as follows. I believe it actually steals half coins. And Wario had 21 coins, so he should have had 11 coins stolen from him, but he had 12. Or is the amount of coins just generally random? I mean, it would make sense if it was half coins. It really would. Right. 
Wow, it's just a straight path. It really is just a straight path. Okay then, uh, duly noted, I'm going to use the Springo candy and get Daisy and then see if there is indeed a split path up ahead because I am not wasting a thrice candy just to get to a pitfall. Well, okay, that still works. It is still moving further ahead. I know I am skipping a shop, but to be honest... Oh, come on, what's with these rolls? Okay, Wario, are you going to be showing uh, where King Boo is? Okay, six. At that rate, I don't believe you are. Okay, 15. Just about average. And he gets, an he gets another thrice candy. Uh, there's the branching path. I'm pretty sure. I think the branching path was like either go up, up. Am I seriously the one again? Oh, you were asking for it there. Nearly going to be the Barbar -bar minigame twice in a row. Oh, you were seriously asking for it there. All right then, power trip. I know it's a shock name, one thousand for a reason, and that's to electrocute my opponents. Okay, I misjudged that. Then doesn't matter. I got you both. Vamos, sucker! <laughs> Uh oh, oh you absolute just got me. Yeah, the Thrum candy, in case you've forgotten what that um candy does from Goomer's Booty Boardwalk. If you hit anybody with it, you basically make them lose half their coins. You don't steal them, you just make them lose it. It's basically the cash step candy. I know, it's actually kind of weird, honestly. I mean, Swamp Candy um, takes half coins away from opponents, providing you hit them with it. The cash step candy uh, is the exact same thing, but instead of actually running past them by a dice roll, you are actually... Um... Running a roulette wheel. Okay, seven. Okay, there you go. There's the good rolls. They're really good rolls. Man. Unfortunately, though, if I do find a pitfall, it will cancel out the running star a bit. Uh, yep, I would buy a star. I say, no, no, buy candy! Uh, heck yeah, I would like to buy a star, but I would... <laughs> God dang it. Alright, alright. Definitely a unique touch with the flying chair there. I wish there was more like that in Luigi's Mansion, honestly. 
Okay, I'm gonna do some speculation. Oh, great. Blue, blue, or DK in blue. Okay, from what I am willing to believe, and this is just a wild speculation, if there's a DK space over here, I'm going to assume that it's going to take me to another branching path. So I'm going to go up, up. And then I'm going to go right. Hey! Nice! That was actually a random guess, but at the same time, it actually worked. Unfortunately, it's cancelled out the remaining uh, five, six, seven spaces away from my run. But that was good. That was actually a really lucky guess. I had a feeling the DK space was indicating to me that that's where I needed to go. And I thought, okay... There's a shop to the left. They wouldn't put a shop directly in front of King Boo. So I'm going to go the opposite way. I was randomly speculating based on um, how the layout was designed. Because when I'm looking at this demonstration photo, there are three shops... And none of those shops are pointing you in the direction that sends you straight towards King Boo. There is one shop, though, that is actually pointing you to go in the same direction as a pitfall room. But... Yeah... Right, okay, I wasn't really paying too much attention. Oh, I wasn't paying too much attention there. Right, I, right, I just noticed... Okay, so happening spaces in this board. Uh, there's piranha plants, of course. Uh, oh, there's actually one more happening space I forgot to mention. Okay. Yeah, that one. I completely and utterly forgot about that one. Right, landing on that happening space next to mirror cabinets will transport another player to the space. So, I'm guessing it's like random or something. Um, sick and twisted. I think we've already played that minigame, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, that was actually one happening space I completely forgot about, but thanks Wario for showing it us. It actually picks a random opponent and sends that opponent to you, it seems. Right then. Bully Bills are going to show up now. Hammerbow was a goner because he took way too long. Warrior was gone. Just me and Daisy now. Ah, no you don't, 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 no you don't. That's the last bullet bill, unfortunately. There we go. Now we'll get back the 10 coins I just spent for the start. Ugh. Oh dear. Hey, just stretching my back. Well, there's the lucky space again.
Wow, a shop immediately two spaces after start. Oh, whoa, you actually traveled really far. Dang, okay. So if they're going up that way, then that's probably where we need to go. So let's have a look anyway. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen spaces for the lucky space. And it's just a straightforward path from there. Okay. Do you know that actually would be pretty weird? If they put a lucky space on the exact same path that takes you directly to King Boo anyway. I've not actually... Well, it's impossible to see it happen. But it would be funny if a lucky space was put one space before where King Boo was. Not like that's going to happen considering that room always has five spaces. And the lucky space is positioned directly in the middle. And I did not get anything decent. Uh, might as well buy something. I will get a vampire candy. Continuing the trend of spending 15 coins to increase the shopping star lead. Potentially. And I get a sprinkle candy to boot. Right then, uh, what space is behind that? Was it a red space? No, it was a blue space. Do you know what? I would take the red space, but no, I'm going to be following them. Reasoning being is because I might, might not be sent into a false sense of security. But I have a strong feeling that, you know, I'm not going to bother with this Wingo candy. It, it might be a false sense of security where it's like, uh, the red space would actually be where King Boo is. But like I say, the AI knows where King Boo is all the time. Uh, that did look like it was in the 5 at first, but I'm not questioning that. That is in the 10. He's only going to take 21 coins, though. A new mini game. It's a coin mini game too, and it's basically a coin mini game. I'm not really a massive fan of. Water ski spree. Bonus mini game. Catch shy guys coins as you water ski. But when it says catch the water, uh, catch the coins, it doesn't mean shy guys are actually throwing the coins to you. It's basically what you see in the demonstration. You got coins on these ramps. And you basically have to go to the rams, but the shy guys, they will actually throw spiny eggs at you to stun you to prevent you from actually getting a coin found on one of the ramps. Go up the ramps whenever you can to grab more coins. Terrible hint, really, because that's the whole gist of the minigame. The maximum amount of coins you can get in this minigame per playthrough, I believe, is 16. And it's also basically that to steer. I honestly thought it was keyhole turn for the for it, honestly. I really did.
There we go. Just grab all the coins as we can. The shy guy over there will be... Oh, a spinosaurus. Oh, just barely got that. Just barely got that. That's the only problem about having a jump one either side. Is that the coin only appears at the very last second. Okay, I was wrong. It was not 16, it was 17. But I was close. 